This video might be seen as treason, and I'm sorry, but I thought it was an interesting enough idea to make a video about, which is why we're talking about the Toronto Maple Leafs on today's segment. Now, we're going over onto sportsnet.ca and going over to a piece made by Luke Fox, published, what is that, four days ago? Yeah, November 19th, so it's from a while ago. Quick shifts. Who the Maple Leafs are targeting to upgrade their defense? Now, this conversation is easy to see why it's being sparked up with Jake Muzzin out for a while, with now Morgan Riley out for a while too. This article was published before Riley was taken out as well. The Maple Leafs are kind of in the market for a D-man, and as it's been highlighted in several parts of the hockey-speaking media, this is going to be pretty difficult. I think it was Elliot Friedman who said somewhere either on 32 Thoughts or on Hockey Night in Canada that trading for a defenseman is going to be hard. I mean, Ottawa has been trying this for months and they have not gotten it done. So for Toronto, all of a sudden, they're in that Wolf of Wall Street scenario. It's supply and demand, baby. They have no D and they need D. So here's an article on Sportsnet talking about different targets that the Maple Leafs could pursue. Of course, there's a whole bunch here, so we're not going to go over all of them, but there is one name in particular that I did think was interesting enough to talk about. Let's scroll down to the end of the article here and go over to the Vancouver side of things. Frequent trade partner Vancouver might offer a right-side upgrade in hard-hitting, cost-cutting effective Luke Shen, making $850,000, or a tall but expensive Tyler Myers. Now, Myers is a name we have discussed in the past. Whether or not the Maple Leafs would value his services to the point that they think about trading for him, but I wanted to talk about Luke Shen. Because when it comes to this idea, I think a lot of Canucks fans who saw the thumbnail, they saw the title, they clicked on the video, and maybe by now they've already posted a comment saying, Hell no! Hell no! Like, we're not trading away Shen to Toronto. Get that out of here. We're keeping Shen. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. We're not doing that. I don't want it to happen. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of relying on that sort of reaction here. It's funny to me because this is the exact opposite situation that we had with Tyler Myers, where we made the video talking about him in the Maple Leafs, and I said all these bad things about him in the video, but at the end of the day, I said, hey, he's big and he's right-handed. Somebody's gonna go out there and pay a price for that, no matter how bad he is. For Luke Shen, he isn't necessarily that big, he's not six foot seven, six foot eight, but Luke Shen, in his own right, is one of the most important and, dare I say, best defensemen on the Vancouver Canucks right now. Which is kind of sad, because when Luke Shen is one of your top guys, it probably means your defense core as a whole is not great, which is factual for Vancouver. But Luke Shen is a 33-year-old right-handed defenseman, 6'2", 225 is the profile there, signed till the end of this season, making $850,000 a year. This season, the guy's got 8 points in 19 games, he's on pace for 35 points, which is kind of crazy because that would be a career high. Yeah, I can't believe I just said that, but... He's on pace for a career high, and he's been in the NHL since debuting with the Maple Leafs back in 2008-2009. Shen was initially drafted to being a big-bodied, big-hitting kind of guy that could step up and be good defensively, and for the most part, he sort of fulfilled that, kind of, over the years. I mean, Shen, towards the end-ish era of his Toronto tenure, was sort of seen in a little bit of a lesser light than that, and then he went over to Philadelphia, and then he went over to LA, and then Arizona, and then Anaheim, and then Vancouver, and then Tampa Bay, and now Vancouver again. He's a two-time Stanley Cup champion. And I'll always tell the story of how he won those Stanley Cups, because when he was acquired by Vancouver in the Anaheim Ducks, I believe it was the Michael Delzato trade. I might be wrong about that. But he was acquired by Vancouver, he helped Quinn Hughes break into the league because Hughes was finishing up his career with the Michigan Wolverines. He looked really good alongside of Hughes, like they actually had some pretty good chemistry and they were able to feed off of each other very well. And then when the Canucks tried to re-sign Shen in the offseason, he said, nah fam, I'm taking a league minimum deal to go to Tampa Bay. And that's what he did. He went over there, he won a Stanley Cup, he re-signed with Tampa Bay, won another Stanley Cup, and then went back to Vancouver, signing a two-year deal worth $850,000 per season one year ago. 
It's a great story, and for a guy who's bounced around seemingly everywhere the past decade and a bit, it definitely kind of caps off the journeyman story of him getting the two Stanley Cups and then coming back to a city like Vancouver that adored him so much that they didn't want him to leave when he signed in Tampa Bay in the first place. Now, for Toronto, and having Shen get traded back over there, I don't necessarily know if Shen is the kind of guy that the Maple Leafs would want. He doesn't produce too many points, although this season, as we said, he is on pace for a career high. He's the only Canucks defenseman with multiple goals on the season so far. And, at the same time, he is very cheap. But, when it comes to Luke Shen and Toronto... I don't know how much a trade like this would move the needle for a lot of that fan base and placate their worries. Now, I get it, if you trade for Shen, your team is actually getting a bit better, but for a team that's already lost out on Muzzin and Riley and you still have so much desperation in trying to upgrade your decor, I don't know if Kyle Dubas is really going to go out there and look for a guy that probably is a middle-ish caliber defenseman or at the very least, a good bottom-tier defenseman on a good team in Luke Shen, you know? Like, on Vancouver, Shen is a top-two defenseman, and he's playing with Quinn Hughes, and they're actually one of the best defense pairings in the entire league when it comes to expected goals against differentials, but Shen is Luke Shen, and he is partly excelling because his defensive game is so well-suited to playing with Quinn Hughes, who is just an offensive dynamo, and Shen's shutdown game allows Quinn to rove around the offensive zone and do what he does, and Shen gets an assist once in a while because he's playing with talented players. I just don't know if that sort of formula is able to be so easily replicated in a system like the Maple Leafs. I know there's probably going to be some fan love there because, oh, Shen was drafted by Toronto and he had this reputation back in Toronto and he's going back to Toronto, so the Leafs fans might remember him, but at the end of the day, I don't really know how plausible it is. Plus, if Vancouver is going out there and trading away Luke Shen, they're going to probably demand a lot. Like, at least with Tyler Myers, that guy's going to be really cheap. Like, the Canucks are going to take anything they can get for Tyler Myers, but for Shen? Nah, dude, this team is already so depleted on the right side defense that they cannot afford to lose out on anybody else, and Luke Shen is a part of the system that keeps the clock running. Now, I don't think it's impossible for him to get traded if an offer comes along that's good enough. Jim Rutherford, Alvin, hopefully they're able to bite the bullet and just say, okay, screw it, we'll make our team worse for the time being because we're already losing all these games. We're already kind of in stealth tank mode. Let's go out there and get Connor Bedard. So if it's Luke Shen for like, I don't know, a second round pick or something, dare I say a first or an actually legit good prospect, then I think about it. At the end of the day, Shen is expiring at the end of the season, so... He might just decide to come back to Vancouver if he really so pleases, or he could just decide to go elsewhere. And besides, this Canucks team is so bad, and Shen is one of the most important players on the team, that if he decided to go elsewhere, I wouldn't blame the guy. At the same time, though, the guy has been so important that when it comes to conversations that fans are having about Bo Horvat getting traded, oh, if we trade away Horvat, who's going to be the next captain? I'd been seeing the main opinion actually thrown out there being Luke Shen. Like, it's too early to give somebody like Pedersen the captaincy. You don't want to give the captaincy to somebody like Brock Besser or something. The only really leadership-type candidate that's there is... Shen. You're not going to say Miller, right? So, I don't know. It's all to the console your thoughts about this idea. Luke Fox is throwing out Luke Shen's name. Ooh, that's a funny sentence. Luke Fox is throwing out Luke Shen's name in Toronto Maple Leafs conversation as to whom the Maple Leafs could target on the defenseman trade market. What are your thoughts on this if you're a Vancouver Canucks fan? What are your thoughts about this if you're a Leafs fan? I know there are some Leafs fans that might say, oh no, we don't want to do this, like he sucks, whatever, whatever. Shen is good. Like, he's good enough, I think, to justify looking at him for a trade, and Canucks fans here love the guy. It's just, I don't know if he is good enough to justify making a big trade for him, because the Maple Leafs kind of need more, you know? So, talk to the console your thoughts about this idea. Link will be in the description if you want to go ahead and read the article. There are how many other names listed here in this piece? Uh, okay, let's just go ahead and do that and lay them out. It's the end of the video, right? So, I don't think anybody really cares. Chicharin, Carlson, Klingberg, uh, Matt Dumba, Gavrikov, Orlov, Dumoulin, Artem Zub, Scott Mayfield, Shen, and Myers. That's a lot of names, Luke Scott. Okay, talk to the console your thoughts about this Luke Shen thing. I hope you enjoyed this video. And... Bye.